We told you we'd be back. We want to hear you enjoying yourself. You're in big trouble, mister. W3L! Yeah, you remember me? Remember this face? After 11 years of being forgotten in W3L? I am the manager of champions, Charles Boddington, and I will remind you that I am one of the original members of the WCL roster. Many, many years ago, with now WWE Superstar Drew McIntyre. What better stage to return? What better stage for the manager of champions, Charles Boddington? the return to WCL. Well, I'm back and I'll tell you WCL and I'll tell you make this one. But this 20th anniversary, I'm in charge. I am the host of this great mission. Welcome to the longest running wrestling show on YouTube, W3L Wrestling Showdown. Brian D here and remember to hit that subscribe button that's at the bottom right hand of your screen if you're watching on a PC or laptop. And as you can see we're outdoors this afternoon, however it is not that great of a day but rain or shine, showdown will always be here every Sunday afternoon. And listen, we're all waiting to find out what kind of impact the return of Charles Bonting, Boddington, the manager of champions, will have as a guest host on fourth night of Resolution. Those that have been here long enough to remember his reign of terror as commissioner have been suggesting the move may be a mistake on behalf of WCL management. Time will tell of what they're thinking up in the boardroom here at W3L and speaking of resolution another contest has indeed been added ladies and gentlemen it will be a grudge match between Rory Shaw and Roderick Jones it will be a strap match a strap will be tied to each man's right wrist and the strap can be used a weapon now this is why first of all let's take you back to the summer it was grapple on the green it was a tag match Shaw and Jones won the WPL Tag Team Championships, however, Shaw attacked Jones after the match because Jones let him down, and then just two weeks ago, now, a lot of things were going down, ladies and gentlemen, but, Rory Shaw comes out and attacks Jones in a triple threat match, which Luke can chat one, but look at this, the bigger story, Shaw uses a strap on Jones, I mean, Ladies and gentlemen, the welts on Jones after this beatdown is whipping him like an animal. 
and due to that, it will now be Sean Jones Resolution any strap match, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know, I cannot wait for this match to see Jones maybe get some retribution, but even then, the heavy artillery, Rory Shaw, is a monster. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our matchup this afternoon. It's the 20-year veteran, the Jackal, taking on Roderick Jones. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE Wrestling Showdown. As I said, I head on and come for the program for Rain or Shine Showdown. I'll always make it to the Sunday, and of course, Roddy Jones making his way to the ring to take on the 20 year veteran and former multi title champion, the Jackal. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, momentarily, we've got comments from the heavy artillery, Rory Shaw. We're going to be hearing from him just in a moment or two. Uh, I believe Jackal's making his way to the ring right now. And we do apologise for the camera work, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, it's not the best of days. So we are having some technical issues with our equipment. And there's the Jackal now. Making his way to the ring. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are going to... Throw it now to Rory Shaw who made these comments directed at Roderick Jones regarding resolution is coming up in a couple of weeks time. Roderick Jones, you filthy little maggot. You know exactly who I am, don't you? I hope your body is still wracked with pain from the last time you encountered me. And guess what? I want to tell you something. In the army, we love a challenge. In the army, we love putting people to the test. And in the army, we really love teaching people lessons. So, W3L Resolution, 21st of October, Glen Rothis. Rory Shaw is challenging you to a strap match. Soon enough, Roderick Drones, you will be my target acquired. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. And of course, that match will take place night two of Resolution at the Rothis Halls. As we are underway now with this contest. And of course, Jones against a 20 year vet, a student of the game, knows exactly, knows the ring better than anyone and that is the jackal and of course don't be surprised when the jackal tries to take some shortcuts and like I said it doesn't matter the weather what fancy and enjoying this contest look at the bingo Again, we are having technical issues. Do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. We will try and get this sorted for you. With the jackal now he has Jones on the canvas. Going to roll him back. Going through. Now a hammerlock by the Jackal. Once again, we do apologise for our technical issues. As Jones now, hammerlock of his own Jackal will get out of this. Here's a counter for every hole. Phil Nelson. Not Matt. And a kick to the spine. Here with the fans, he can back it up. Joshua Cotton there raking the face. Jonathan Knight taking the arrow. Into the shoulder. We were on that help and our technical issues, ladies and gentlemen, but Jackal now. Jones looking for a way out of it and does beautiful nice modified arm drag 
Y'all can see in that jeans. Cool as Kia. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the end of this broadcast. We're going to run down what we know so far about resolution October 20th and October 21st. Muscle Bra and Glenn Rockers, the chosen venues for a 20 year historic event. Years in the making for them to be out actually. Jones there. Close line. Snap me up. Goes for a lot of press, but Jackal kicks out. Wish I didn't even get the one count in. And there, 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 there you go, that's what I'm talking about. The Jackal breaks the eyes. Gives him the control here. Shoulder block and a third one and a slap. And now Jackal. And then Jackal picks up Jones. What's he going to do? A scoop slam. Lateral press gets two. Jackal wants the official to count faster. And now here we go, reverse chin lock. Jackal now. Wearing down Roderick Jones, doing what he can, putting off the air supply, hoping that Jones passes out. You got to put both the efforts of these competitors and these children competing in the weather like this. I'm quite happy in my little booth with my umbrella. The jackal now. Jones trying to fight back. Jackal trying to keep a hold of this chin lock, but Jones now getting to that vertical base does. Fights out of it. Go to the back. Suplex. Jackal in a world of heart. And now here comes Jones. Clothesline. And a second clothesline. Jones building momentum here. Target acquired. Jones now neck breaker. Looks leg lateral press gets two. You wonder what's going through Jones's mind, knowing that he has a scrap match in just two weeks' time against one of the most dangerous individuals the WPL has probably ever seen. Let's go behind, go for that ripcord cutter. Jacko fights out of it. Jones comes back. Look at that Michinoku driver! Lotto press! Two! He got no he did. Let's take a look! Crafty Connoisseur double feature at that! Michinoku driver takes back. There you see it, pushes him off, comes back in, and bringing it back to live action! No! But Jones rolled out there, but no, he's going for something else. But you do not give the jackal time. That's something you don't do. Oh, no one home. Wait a minute, ripcord hits the car, drops the jackal. One press, and he gone. That's over. Rodri gets momentum going forward to resolution. Your winner, Rodri Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because we'll be hearing from the W3L Women's Champion, Cody Adler. Plus, I'm going to run down what we know of Resolution so far. Stay tuned to W3L Wrestling Showdown. Congratulations, Roderick Jones.
What a matchup that was, ladies and gentlemen, and one event, Resolution, is shaping up to be. It comes your way, Musclebra, Friday the 20th of October, and then Glen Rothes, the Rothes Halls, the 21st of October. And what a line of matches we've got for you on both those nights. Of course, remember, Channel's Bodything will be hosting both nights as well. But first up, we've got the WTL World Heavyweight Championship on the line as Taylor Bryden will take on Joey Legend, but as vowed he will defend the championship the second night and waiting in the wings is Johnny Storm. Now think about this, Johnny Storm will challenge the champion on night two. Now it could be Johnny Storm versus Joey Legend, it could be Johnny Storm versus Taylor Bryden. Either way, the fans win. And then next up, it's the strap match, the grudge match, as Roderick Jones looks for revenge as he takes on the heavy artillery, Rory Shaw. This all started back at Grapple on the Green this past summer. Will it end at Resolution? Speaking of grudge matches, Mike Musso will team with a mystery partner of his choice to take on Luke Aldridge and finally get his hand on Lu King Sharp in this tag team grudge match. And it will happen Saturday, the 21st of October, at the historic Rothes Halls. Then in from there, the open challenge for the original Alphas as the Alpha Male and Craig Stevens have vowed to put their tails on the line against any tag team in the UK. They might rule the day they do this, however, they have been dominant since coming together this past summer. Then a number one contenders match between Zero, Krieger, Saqib Ali and Tormentor where the winner will receive an opportunity at the WTL Wrestling Showdown Championship. So this match will take place Friday the 20th of October, night one in Musselburgh and the winner will receive an opportunity at TJ Rage, night two, Saturday the 21st of October, Rothes Halls. TJ Rage defends the Showdown Championship. Then it's the Women's Championship in a street fight or a nightmare on Elm Street fight against Dynamite Brody Alder when she'll put her WTL Women's Championship on the line against Emily Hayden. It all takes place the 20th of October, the 21st of October. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave you with comments from the WTL Women's Champion, Brody Alder. We'll see you as the road to resolution continues. Seven Deadly Sins tournament has concluded and I have a challenger for the W3L Women's Championship title at this year's resolution. Now Emily Hayden may have won wrestling's toughest tournament but nobody is tougher and nobody is more dangerous than the dynamite Brody Adler. Now I've been informed that Emily wishes to add her own stipulation into this match, a nightmare on Elm Street fight. Now, I haven't been briefed on the rules of this match and I don't know what to expect from it, but I know one thing, and that is that I am the most dominant champion in W3L history and I will accept any stipulation put forth to me. Emily, if I may cast your mind back, the last time we stood toe to toe was a no disqualification, falls count anywhere match, and I beat you so badly that the referee had to stop the match. So Emily, at this year's resolution, if it's a nightmare that you want, it's a nightmare that you're going to get.